We want to talk about estimating while adding and subtracting today. Estimating means that we're going to come up with a reasonably close answer, but one that may not have the exact answer that we want. So estimating is okay to get close to it, but not the exact answer. Most of the time when we estimate, we round, then we solve. We're going to look at how to estimate by rounding, then solving problems out to the tens place, hundreds place, and thousands place. Let's first look at rounding and estimating a couple to the tens place. We want to add and subtract as we do this. We're going to estimate to the tens place 9,633 plus 4,251. Now as I look at that and I do that, I need to think to myself, hmm, rounding to the tens place. Well, which is going to be closer? Is 9,633 closer to 9,630? Or is it closer to 9,640? Well, my rule for rounding is 5 to the sky, 4 and below, let it go. So when I look at this, that tells me 9,633 is approximately 9,630. That I would round it to 30 in the tens place. 4,251, when I look at rounding it, it's going to round to, hmm, is 51 closer to 50 or 60? Well, it's closer to 50, so 4,251 rounds to 4,250. And then I would just add like I normally would. 0 plus 0 is 0. 3 plus 5 is 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. And 4 plus 2 9 is 13. So my estimated answer is 13,880 when I estimate to the tens place. So how does this work when I subtract? Same idea. I think about rounding to the tens place first, then doing the work. So 8,475, is it closer to 8,480 or 8,470? My rule is 5 to the sky. Four and below, let it go. So I'm going to round to 8,480. Then I have to look at, well, what about 3,356? Well, 3,356. Is it closer to 3,350 or closer to 3,360? My rule again, five to the sky, four and below, let it go, tells me that this is going to round to 3,000. 360, and now I can subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0, 8 minus 6 is 2, 4 minus 3 is 1, and 8 minus 3 is 5, so my estimated answer is 5,120 when I estimate to the nearest tens place. Now we want to do the similar kind of problem, estimating again, but this time we're going to estimate to the hundreds place instead of the tens place. So I look at my number first. I see I have 16,862 minus 12,551. Well, I have to stop and think, hmm, I'm estimating to the hundreds place. So I look at the digits in my tens place to ask that question. Am I closer to 16,800 or 16,900? Well, 5 to the sky, 4 and below, let it go. The 6 here tells me that I am closer to 16,900 than I am to 16,800. 12,551, I look at my 5 in the tens place. 5 to the sky, 4 and below, let it go. That tells me that I'm closer to 12,600 than I was to 5,500. So now I'm going to subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0 again. 9 minus 6 is 3. 6 minus 2 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. So my estimated answer to the hundreds place is 4,300. This time I want to add doing the same thing. Again, estimating to the hundreds place. So I look, and I know I'm going to look at the 2 and the 1 here in the tens place 
to determine what to do with that 4 and the 2 in the hundreds place. So I'm looking 5,426 plus 3,210. 3, so when I look at this, I go, okay, well, my rule, 5 to the sky, 4 and below, let it go, tells me 5,426 is closer to 5,400 than it is to 5,500. When I look here, 3,210 tells me that this is, the one in the tens place here tells me that this is closer to 3,200 than it is to 3,300. And now I can just add. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 again is 0. 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 plus 3 is 8. So my estimated answer to the hundreds place is 8,600. Again, we use that rule of 5 to the sky, 4 to the floor, to determine how we're going to estimate and what we round to. We're continuing on with our estimation. This time we want to estimate to the thousands place. That means we're going to round to the thousands place, then solve to get our estimated answer. So I'm going to look. I have 9,633 plus 8,475. I'm going to have to stop and think, hmm, is 9,633 closer to 10,000 or is it closer to 9,000? Well, again, I'm going to continue to use that 5 to the sky, form below, let it go, rounding rule. I look at the 6 in the hundreds place. It's greater than 5, so that tells me the 9 goes to the sky, where, or I would say is closer to 10,000. And so I would round to 10,000. 9,633 is closer to 10,000 than to 9,000. 8,475. I look at the 4 in the hundreds place. Well, 4 and below, let it go. So that means this will stay 8,000. And then I can just look at this and go, oh, wait. 10 plus 8, well, that's a basic math fact. 10 plus 8 is 18, so 10,000 plus 8,000 must be 18,000. That's our estimated answer for 9,633 plus 8,475 estimated to the thousands place. Now let's look at 4,251 minus 2,556. Again, I'm estimating to the nearest thousands place. So I have to ask myself, is 4,251 closer to 4,000, or is it closer to 5,000? 5 to the sky, 4 and below, let it go. I look at the 2 in the hundreds place. It's smaller than 5, so I'm going to let it go. 4,251 is closer to 4,000 than 5,000. I'm going to look at 2,556. Using my rule, 5 to the sky, 4 and below, let it go. Well, the 5 here tells me that it's going to be closer to 3,000 than to 2,000. So that's going to be approximately 3,000. And again, it's a simple math fact. 4 minus 3 is 1, so 4,000 minus 3,000 is 1,000. My estimated answer of 4,251 minus 2,556 to the nearest thousands place is 1,000. Something simple about estimating. Estimating means that we're going to round and solve before we do anything. We're trying to get to the nearest 10, 100, or thousands answer that we can get. It's not going to be an exact answer, but it's going to be reasonably close.